Next, we are going to tie the power strip on the side panel. You find the longest nylon ties and uh, you tie it right under the power switch. Then you tie a second nylon tie under the fourth power socket. Then we cut the extra part. Just remember, you don't want extra tails poking out. And then we have the medical power cord for the analyzer. We have this flat cable for the computer's power and uh, this rounded one for the printer. So first, we actually need to tidy up the monitor's cable. Which zip tie is that? Shorter. Oh, four inch? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we need to make two ties over here. And again, this is just purely to make the cable look better. So really for cosmetic purpose. After I tidy up those two, cut it off and then cut it off. Then I would get the DP cable shorten Cut off the extra piece and uh, insert the DP cable onto the computer's DP socket. Then we have the power cord for the monitor. Again, we loop it so it's shorter. And uh, we put one extra tie. Eight inch? Four inch. Oh. Eight inch is okay. Four inch is quicker to pull. And uh, we connect that to the second socket of the power strip. The first socket is reserved for the weather station. And uh, this is important. We tie this monitor power cord to the first long strip.
that's it for the power cord and uh, the DP cable of the mount. Okay, now we put the power cord of the computer. How do you know that's the power cord of the computer? It's one and only one flat power cord, even though function-wise it doesn't matter. Okay. But I like to give the computer power cord to the computer, so we won't be confused in the future. So we have this loop around with some extra piece that I can connect. Then I tie the power cord together so they will not be floating around. And uh, this one, I give it to the number four socket. Number three is for the printer. And if you have to, you can adjust the length. So with this extra tie to the power strip, these two cables look nice, neatly, instead of floating, hanging around. Next step is the analyzer, medical power cord. Again, we wiggle in, make sure it's solid, turn the power on, and uh, because we have limited space, I tag it on top of the power cord wall. On top of the power cord uh, for the monitor. And this one is very big connector, so I have to push it to the bottom of this power strip to connect. But hang it on top. So, which can, zip tie is that? This is the first zip tie. The biggest one? First big one. Oh. And uh, again, tie it nicely. Last is the power cord for the printer. This guy. Again, we try to make it nicely. We can tie it just to the last power cord. Just pee it back.
and that and like that in and you got most of the power cord done except the weather station okay printer cable how do I know that's the printer cable? Because it's a USB cable. What about the other end? Huh? Show me the other end. B. Oh, there we go. And uh, usually I just use a twist tie to shorten. And most of the time, it's a beige color, not the black one. But we connect it into here. Okay. And then connect to the back side. Now we connect the USB cable for the analyzer to the computer. This cable has two ferrite chokes to reduce the noise and uh, usually I connect to the right hand side of this bank and uh, get it down to the USB the orange one and then you see the blue LED light on to get the power from the computer Okay, the position of the car, you don't want the car backside too close to the wall. At least one foot more is better because the spiral gas will be accumulating on the backside of the analyzer if you are too close to the backside. Then we need to turn on the computer. If the monitor is connected to this computer for the first time, Windows will change the resolution to the max of oh, to the maximum resolution. In this case is 192 by something. Then you need to set it back to be 1024 for regular exercise system. And uh, by the way, we don't recommend to connect this computer to the network. If it's not connected to the network, how come it's that updating? What update could they have? It's pretending. Oh. oh. I don't think I connect Ethernet or Wi-Fi yet. Mm, no. So don't connect this computer. This is the instrument computer. Doesn't require the update. What do you do if IT tells you you have to? It doesn't. When you are not on network. What if IT makes you? Oh, IT? Yeah. You tell IT that this is the instrument computer. Not supposed to connect to the network. Okay. And that if necessary, we can send you a letter to tell you we don't recommend this to be on the network. Because the update of the Windows is to prevent you from getting the virus. And if you don't connect to the network, you are not supposed to get the virus. <laughs> Windows 10 in one of the new features, you will change the Windows resolution to the maximum of the monitor when you change the monitor. So when you receive this computer and the monitor, you will find out resolution was changed to be 192. 
and then you need to set it back to 1024. So right click on part of the open space and uh, click display settings. Then it has a display resolution, 1920 by 1080. So you need to get it down, select 1024, and uh, click keep changes. Now there's a problem that your white screen become narrow screen. And uh, out of our hard work, we find out you have to click on advanced display settings and uh, you need to select display adapter properties for display one. And uh, you select monitor and uh, it change the screen refresh rate to 75 hertz then you click apply then it become white screen again now that's how we get a work so you need to do this okay don't know why microsoft uh, totally destroyed the plug and play of the printer so after we do everything we need to go to Windows, Settings, Printers, and uh, we select Printer and Scanner. And though, even though we have Lexmark Printer connected now, it shows up the facts. And uh, show the funny XPS document writer. So I will remove them. I will try to connect to the Lexmark printer. You click here, add a printer. And uh, don't tell me why I have to do that. It took me quite some effort to find out we have to do this. Printer, I want is listed. Click here, and we already connect the USB cable of the printer to the computer. So we can click here, say add a local printer or network printer with a manual setting. Say next, and the use existing port because we have a USB port for that printer. Then we click next. And it's a next mark printer, so we say next mark. Now, don't worry about the model, the B2338 of this next mark printer because there's none. This one is very odd. You have to say next mark printer software G3 XL. And uh, then you click next. I click next. When I ran into this the first time, it took the professor about half an hour to find out what to do. Lucky. And do not share this printer. And uh, finish. We don't have printer paper yet, so cannot print the page. But just say finish. So now when you create printer, you can print out PDF files or you can access this Lexmark printer.